Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the DC Comics Artifacts Plus Gorilla Grodd. That's right, of all of the villains we've been getting in the Artifacts Plus DC lineup, Grodd here has got to be the one I was most excited about because he just looks amazing. So let's check this guy out. So since this statue is a bit bigger than what we usually see in the Artifacts Plus line, instead of coming in that clear box that showcases the statues within, he actually comes in a larger fully enclosed box there. So it's a bit different than all of the other ones that we've seen, but the window there does showcase the statue within, uh, still has a very similar feel to what we've seen for the rest of the lineup there. But let's get this guy pulled out of the box, because we really want to take a good look at this guy. He is amazing. So there's really no assembly required. The only thing that you're going to really need to do when pulling this guy out of the box is putting the cape on, which basically just sits right on his shoulders, just like this. You can see he just clips right over his shoulders. And then you're going to put the skull in his hands. Um, basically, if you just give it a nice firm press there... It clips into his fingers just like that, and he's ready to go. So we don't have to attach arms or his head or anything like that. You're just basically putting his accessories on there, and he is ready to be displayed. Now, like all of the other Artifacts Plus statues, he does come with a square black base, and he does have magnets embedded in the bottom of his feet. So you can see he gets a great hold there on that base. We can stand him anywhere we want to. He can cross over bases with the other DC Artifacts Plus statues, but you don't even need it. You can see he stands just fine on his own, without the base and he's in an amazing amazing ferocious pose so since i keep talking about him being larger let me bring in the tape measure here so you can see from the bottom of his feet to the top of his head it's a little over eight inches but all the way up to the outstretched arm he comes over nine inches tall so he is huge and there is a lot of weight to this guy i mean he's really really heavy he's solid he feels nice and quality made and man he's got a really really great paint job and a really awesome sculpt come in here and look at the face on this thing Look at how ferocious that is. Amazing gorilla sculpt. I love those red eyes that are kind of glowing out there. You can see the teeth, all the details on the inside. Look at how the teeth are sculpted in there very nicely. You got the tongue in there painted really well. Uh, just a really nice deco all the way around. I love the little kind of a helmet that he's wearing there and the way it's got this very worn look to it. Great paint job there as well. And just the overall anatomy of the statue is very nice. Has that great gorilla look to it. Love the hand that's holding the human skull. How awesome is that? Holding it high in victory, just kind of giving that warning. You know, you got the red paint there on his chest. You got the, look at that, the flash lightning bolt. Love it. Uh, just really awesome all the way around. Look at the fur, how great the fur looks on the sculpt there. Of course, you got those gorilla feet. <laughs> Love the big toes there, the way they look. Just all around, this is a wonderful looking statue. The tattered and torn cape is awesome, the way it's kind of billowing behind him. Uh, great folds in there, some really nice shading worked in with the paint deco. And again, I love, love the shading and the sculpt and everything up on the shoulder pads there. It has this very worn look to it, all the scratches and dents, great wash job going on in there. So just a really, really fun statue all the way around. He is impressive. Impressive, and he's really going to look great standing with the other Artifacts Plus statues. So, for example, let's get Flash in here. Have him stand next to the Artifacts Plus Flash we've already got in the line, and you can see how huge he is in comparison. I mean, he's going to tower over the other villains as well. He's a really cool piece to add to the display, and whether you've been collecting the Artifacts Plus line or not, maybe you're just a huge Gorilla Grodd fan, and if that's the case, I would still say this is a wonderful statue that you'll love it, because I love it. Like I said, I was most excited about this one, and I was definitely not let down. He is a beast, pun intended. He's amazing, and I love him. So I got to give a very special thanks to the folks at Kotobukiya for sending Grot along so we can get a good look at him outside of the packaging. For more information on Kotobukiya, be sure to check them out online at www.kotous.com and give them a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash Kotobukiya. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, my friends.